What's up, guys? Welcome Dude, to Kids Church. Kids Church, Pastor Becca. That's I'm right. so excited this weekend. Well, we're bringing church to you. That's you could right. be sitting in your living room at home yeah. or, I don't know, watching in your car. Wherever. Seriously. Yeah, they could be watching it anywhere. Mr. Anywhere. Right. And there you guys have Kids Church right there. That's well, right. we got to kick it off the right day, guys. We have to pray. Let's pray. Are you guys ready? Close your eyes. Bow your heads. Lord, thank you so much for today. Thank you for every kid and student and parent who is watching right now. I pray, God, that you would be with them, that you would bless them that you would help us to hear what you have for us today. We love you so much. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Well, Pastor Becca, today, here's the thing. We're talking about, you know, hard times might come in our lives, but we have to keep believing in God. That's true. We so, have to keep having our have faith. Have you ever had a hard time, Mr. Time? David? Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Me too. Tough times in my life. I, I got to tell you, yeah. Sometimes we go through seasons, right, where they're just kind of hard. It's true. And our verse this week, Mr. David, is from Psalm 22. I'm sorry, 55, verse 22. That's a, Yeah, 55, Psalm 22. Psalm 55, 22. Got it. It says, cast all your burdens on him, and he will take care of you. So he meaning God. Yes. So we need to cast our burdens on God. That. Yeah. So cast your burdens. It's like it's not yeah. like a fishing pole kind of cast. Oh, it's like, not cast. It just means give. It means give. Like oh, Give yeah. him okay. all your burdens. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. I know. Well, here's the thing, guys. I want you to think about this. Have you guys ever had some hard things happen in your life? And was God there for those hard times? Think about it. kids matter most. I'm Miss Korea. And I'm Joseph King. But you can call me Joe King. Hey, Miss Korea. Yes, Joe King. Why was six afraid of seven? I don't know. Why? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> That's a classic. That's a good one. That is a good one. Well, Joe King, this past week we had our Wednesday night kids online and it was awesome. Check out these videos. Welcome back to What Do You Know? I'm your host, Michael Raffone, or Microphone for short. Well, career, we have a very, very special uh, uh, experiment today. Hey everybody, welcome to my show, Cups with Sammy. Just before the commercial break, we had a very intense game, and we are very close. We're gonna play some cup games every week. We're gonna have a super fun time. Oh yeah! I mean, I know you've missed me a lot, and I've missed you too, so I'm super excited to be back for Wednesday Night Kings. Okay? Uh, we're gonna be baking cookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love cookies. I know, I know. Wow, Miss Korea, that sure looked fun. I can't wait to tune in every week to see what happens. Right now, to tell you more about this coming Wednesday and this season of GD Kids Wednesday Nights, we go now live to the field with Mr. David. Guys, I'm outside in the field right now, right outside of the worship center, where you can pick up your What Do You Know kit. Guys, you can come this weekend or next weekend on Saturday from 5 to 6 or Sunday from 10 to 11 and pick up your What Do You Know kit. There's so much cool goodies and fun stuff in here for the next couple weeks of Wednesday Night Kids Online. Come get it and see you guys then. Thanks, Mr. David. That sounds awesome. Miss Korea, you ready to worship? I'm ready to worship. That's Here we all we go. have for you.
We're lifting Jesus up, we're lifting Jesus up, we're gonna praise Him. You come and fill our hearts with all your power and love. Take us a level up, you're so amazing, you're so amazing. We're lifting Jesus up, we're lifting Jesus up, we're gonna praise Him. You come and fill our hearts with all your power and love. Take us a level up, you're so amazing, you're so amazing. And then it's going to turn into a game. Okay, right, I'm ready. So our supply list, here we go, is a piece of paper. Any piece of paper you got. It can be colored, it can be white, it can be whatever you want. A marker. Got Some it. of your moms may not appreciate a Sharpie. Find whatever you got. doesn't have to be a Sharpie. Okay. Pair Thanks. of scissors. Please do not run with scissors. That's our tip for today. Are you okay. ready? Yeah. Well, we are going to make this cute little guy right here, this little caterpillar. Oh. Isn't that cute? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Fred. Fred. Cool. Mine's, uh, I don't know. Oh. Henry. Henry, okay. Okay, Fred and so Henry. you're gonna take the paper and on the short side of the paper, okay, you're gonna just cut a strip. Okay. You just like, like that wide about, you're just gonna cut straight down. Boom. Doesn't even have to be perfect, look. Mine's skinnier on one side. Great. Okay, then you're gonna fold it up about that much, so it just kinda makes a square. Yeah, see? Got it. Just like a square. Now you're gonna flip the paper over. Nope, you're gonna flip it back. <laughs> My bad. And you're just gonna fold it. Ready? Just keep folding. Up, up, until you get to the end. Then you're gonna fold this one the opposite way. Okay? So. And if you have some extra, you just boop, boom, cut it off. Easy. Just gonna leave it. Yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna round the corners because that gives our caterpillars like that rounded kind of look that they desire. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Jeez. People don't love rounded looks. Caterpillars, they love it. Caterpillars, and pregnant ladies. And pregnant ladies. Yeah. Okay. So then you open it up, and caterpillar. Boom. Caterpillar. Then you just take your marker, put a little, put a little happy face on that guy. Okay. I might have misled you, Korea. I'm so sorry. That's okay. There we go. I figured you'd fix it. So we just want, like that. So see how it creates that? Yep. Now, we can race them. Okay. Wanna have a race? I'm ready. You wanna make someone else do the race? Yes. Okay, so you at home, you're gonna need a straw, okay? And you're gonna need to make two of these. Find somebody, a mom, a dad, a grandma, a grandpa, a brother, a sister, and you're gonna have a caterpillar race. All right. Let's call in Mr. David and Pastor Steve. Okay. Uh, Pastor Mr. Steve, David. Mr. David, we're ready How for you? you. Come on in. We need you. 
Guys, are you ready? What's, what's going on? What's up? So today we taught the kids. Let me hold on. Wait a yep. No worries. No taught worries. Taught the kids how to make a mess. No, well. Okay, yeah, that awesome. too. That guy's got to go away. Right. Okay, so you guys are going to race okay. your caterpillars. Mr. Gabe, will Sounds you come good. down to this end? Because right, you guys yeah. are going to race them. All right, so Pastor Steve, I made a really good one there for you. Okay, Ooh. you made a, a Miss pink Korea one for me. made this orange one for you. And no cheating. Get on the edge. All the way to the edge. The edge. Sorry, okay, David. so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your straw and you're going to blow down from the top and like they're going to move. Oh, whoa. Okay, See, let me try, let me try. So the first one all the way to the end is our winner. Okay, all right, okay. all right. You guys ready? All right. Mine, mine's a little bit shorter. He's not gonna go as far. I'm ready. <laughs> His is shorter. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? On your marks. Get set, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's pretty neck and neck. They're pretty close. Pretty close. Go, Who's go, it go. gonna be? Who's oh. it? This is, uh, this is a slow Hayes race. You know what I mean? is it, Henry? Henry's gonna uh -oh. go off the table. Uh -oh. He's gonna go. <laughs> Wow! Who's it gonna be? Who's the winner? Hey! hey! Oh. Are you out of breath? Yes or no? 100% yes. Yes, okay. Well, thanks for joining us today for our craft slash game time. That was Have fun. Have fun with your caterpillars. We love you guys. Guys, today we're talking about hard times because everyone has them. See, here's the thing, hard times are gonna happen in our lives, but even in those hard times, we need to continue to believe in God and have faith in God. Uh, our verse this week comes out of Psalm 55, 22. It says this, that give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. God will take care of you if we only give our burdens to him. See, that's what we need to do, even in those hard times. We need to give our burdens to God. Do you guys hear this? Oh, it's the terrible. Recover from a day. Oh no. Okay. Oh, what, it's what awful. Is it? what it's is it? terrible. It? Oh, Mr. David. Yes. You Mr. better Mr. brace what yourself. Happened? Okay. You I'm might want to sit down for this. Okay. This is going to be the worst news you ever heard. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, tell me. Okay, I'm Mr. David. Yeah. I'm a favorite pizza place. Okay. I share closet. Oh! Is it the worst pizza day pizza ever? Pizza? You talk about it, the trials. I'm a having the trials today, like a bad. It is terrible, Mr. David. I, I, I'm a going through a real hard time. Mr. Mustachio, it seems like you are going through a tough time. I don't know how terrible it is, the, though. The what? salsa and the, the cheese and the, the dough. I mean, you're making me hungry, truly. So, 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 did you, this is the worst day of your life, you would say? Yeah, it's the worst of the day of my oh, life, goodness. Mr. David. That's crazy. Well, you know, Mr. Mustachio, we're kind of talking about someone today that had a really bad day, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I hey. bet it's not a bad day. So I'm going to have a well, right day. Well, I mean, you guys be the judge, all right? So okay, I, this I'm, guy. Okay, tell me about it. This guy, his name was Paul. And, okay, yeah, Paul. And, and Paul, he, he loved to tell people about Jesus. Can I call him a Paularino? Sir, sure, call him a Paularino. Hey, Paularino! There you go, yeah. So, pa <laughs> so Paul... Paularino, Paul, he he was he went all around the world and he told so many people about Jesus. That sounds like a good guy, Mr. Yeah, David. Yeah, he was really good. But here's the thing. Some people didn't like that he was telling people. No, that's a terrible. Yeah, they thought he was saying things that were like blasphemous, which means like, you're lying. You're lying to everybody. And, and that's not the true God. And, but Jesus really was God. Yeah, that's the that's right. Yeah. And so so here's the thing. So Paul, he, he got in trouble with these guys because he was telling people about Jesus and he got put in prison. Oh no, Mr. Yeah. David. Yeah, and so Paul was like, listen, I, I want to tell the judge basically, and I wanted to appeal to other people, to, to appeal specifically to Caesar, who is in Rome at the time. Caesar like a little Caesar? Not like little Caesar's pizza, no, no, no. Oh, because that's Caesar, another kind of pizza. It was another kind of pizza, no, I get that. No, Caesar was the, um, the, the emperor of everything in, in Italy, and, and he was in Rome, and he was like, and Paul was like, you know what, I want to go talk to Caesar, because he will hear my case. Okay. Yeah, and so here's the thing. 
Paul was imprisoned, right? And he okay, had like, shackles, those things. And so they're, go, they're on their way to Rome. And on their way to Rome. Did they take a minivan? They did not take a minivan. Did they take a shuttle bus? Nope, no shuttle bus here. Did they fly on an airplane? No today? airplanes have not been invented, but what they did do is they took a ship. Ooh, I a like, very big ship. I like a nicer ship. Was it like a like a cruise ship? Well, a little bit, a lot, lot smaller oh, actually a lot, than, lot than smaller? a cruise ship. Yeah. So, okay. so, so they went on the ship and they're out in the middle of the sea. And guess what happens? What happens? A storm comes. Ooh, Mr. David, that sounds crazy. I know. And the, sh the boat goes back and forth and back and forth. And Paul's a prisoner. And the storm is like, and he's raging. And then guess what happens after that? What happens, Mr. David? They get shipwrecked on an island. What? Yeah. And, and the guards, they were so scared that the prisoners were going to escape that they almost tried to kill all the prisoners. Oh, my goodness, Mr. Yeah. David. And see, here's the thing. Paul, he was a prisoner in a storm in a shipwreck. And guess what? Mr. David? Yeah. That sounds like a, almost as bad a day as I'm a having without my favorite pizza anymore. Sounds like Paul had a bad day, but not <laughs> quite as bad as mine. I'm not sure which one would be worse, but here's the thing. Here's the thing that Paul did. This mustachio, Paul, he continued to have faith in God. Oh. And he trusted in God that God would be faithful. And see, here's the thing. Even though bad times happen in our lives, maybe a prisoner or, or a storm comes in your life or you get shipwrecked or our favorite pizza place closes, we have to continue to have faith in God and trust that God will continue to bring us through those tough times. Wow, Mr. David. Yeah. Thanks for telling me that. I feel yeah. so much better right now. For sure. Even though I want to have my favorite pizza anymore. Well, Mr. Mustachio, I gotta say, I know a other good uh, pizza place. Do you want me to grab some pizza from there? Oh, Mr. David, of course I do. All right, all right, all right. You wait here and I'll go get the pizza, okay? Okay, okay. All right, all right. See you in a bit. Wait, See you in a bit. Mr. David, yeah, yeah. shouldn't we pray? Well, well you want to pray? Yeah, we should pray. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Let's, let's pray. You guys want to pray? Let's maybe, pray. Maybe yeah. some of the kids out there are having a bad day too. Like, for like sure. Maybe they're sad about the pizza place that are closed. Or That's two. so true. Guys, listen. Bad things happen in our lives. Maybe even in your life. Maybe there's a parent that um, you don't see anymore, or maybe that your parents got divorced, or maybe you have someone that's sick in your family. Guys, there's so many bad things that can happen in our lives, and we just need to trust in God. So let's trust in God right now. Let's pray. Jesus, we trust in you. We love you. We thank you, God, for everything that you do for us, all the blessings that you give us. Please be there with us every single time. Whether it's a bad time or a good time, but just be there with us, Jesus. We love you. We thank you, God. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, I'm going to go get that pizza. I can't wait to try it. All right, all right. Place. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Boy. GB Kids, that's it for this week. And that reminds me again of our verse this week that is from Psalms 55, verse 22. It says, cast your burdens on him and he will take care of you. So let me, I want you to think about this. Have you ever had a really hard time and God was there for you? Let's think about it. That's it this week, GB Kids. We're so excited to have you with us. And I hope that you remember that when you have hard times, God will always be there for you because you can just give it all to him. Oh, That's hey. right, Pastor Becca. He'll Speaking always of, yeah, be there. What do, you, what do you got there for me? You uh, got... Pizza, Pastor Becca. Uh, wow. This is actually from Mr. Mustachio. Oh. Because, you know, the, his I, favorite pizza place called I down. pretty much love pizza. You too. do? Yeah, like kind of like Mr. Mustachio. You know what I mean? I, yeah. You want a piece? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and you take one. You share with me? Oh, thanks. Of course. All right. Not a thanks. problem. Thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Well, I gotta go uh, share this with Mr. Mustachio. Okay, I'll catch yeah, you later. Go. He, he definitely needs his pizza. Yeah. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Mmm. Good pizza, right? Mr. David, this is a good pizza. I know. I think it's almost as good as the pizza that closes the shop. So thank you for sharing a good pizza. Oh, You're welcome. Oh, no. Oh.